Hey web painters, it's Captain and Tedley. And we're here <clears throat> following Ashley Haber on season seven of The Bachelorette and her journey of love. And fashion. I can't get over two pieces from this night's episode. And it was that turquoise ring that she was wearing while, um, on the date with Constantine. Mm -hmm. And that gorgeous Alice and Olivia sequin tank dress. It was pretty hot. And Possessionista from Possessionista.com told me where to find it. And I'm going to have to go get myself one. Looking good. Yes. All right. So uh, you've been through this whole experience before, being on The Bachelorette and being uh -huh. one of the guys. Give these guys some advice. Well, the best advice came from, I think, in my opinion, the guy in Thailand right at the start of the episode who said, don't try and win. Couldn't be better advice for this experience. I mean, this whole thing is about compatibility. Guys, and I think on the other show, in Bachelor, the girls get caught up in the competition. You forget about what you're there for. So, um, totally agree with that for life and The Bachelor. It's about compatibility, not trying to win. If the two right people end up together, that is a win. Completely true. All right, you you mentioned so Constantine had that date. Mm -hmm. How come we haven't talked about Constantine, Mickey, uh, Ames, and West? West. They have yeah. very strange names. Well, because your name's Tenley and mine's Kipton, so we pretty much forfeit any right to make fun of names. Okay. So guys, you're lucky if we didn't have such random names ourselves, we'd be saying something about that. So I guess you can't really say anything there. But everyone's going to get an award, right? Yes, okay, yes. Let's do that. So, so start with Constantine since he's on our mind. We listed out every guy, um, his name, and we're going to give each of them an award and make it up on the fly for the most part. Uh, Constantine. Constantine gets the uh, like the Breakthrough Performance Award. Very genuine, really well spoken, seems super comfortable, and um, that's the first we've really gotten to see of him. And I think you made a good impression on Ashley, so what you see is what you get. Constantine, my man. Yes, absolutely. What do you give to Ames? Ames is definitely the most traveled on the show like, over Chris Harrison. True. So he gets that award. 70 countries, he said. I know, let's see some stamps in that passport. I'm pal. a little bit jealous. All right, so there's. there's what about Lucas? Yeah, Lucas. Lucas gets the Who's the New Guy Award. Um, yeah. Did you know about Lucas? I this I didn't know there was a Lucas on the show. When did they drop him off? So Lucas, you get the Who's the New Guy Award. Um, going to Blake, what do you say about Blake? Blake's like the uh, like the mediator referee award. I think he was at the center of all that stuff, uh, communicating that the guys were not really feeling the way Ryan was acting and stuff. And he at least sat Ryan down and told him. And then uh, on the charity day, he brought everyone kind of back together and said it's about compatibility, not about trying to stick out. So, um, actually give him kudos on that. Absolutely, and that charity date was very awesome. Super cool. All right. Let's go right to it. JP. JP. Well, him and Ashley definitely have incredible chemistry, and he's the guy that so far I have picked out for her. And tonight, he got the hottest kiss award because they shared a she pretty said herself. hot kiss. Right. Yes, yes. And so great chemistry. All right, so there's three guys. Yeah, we, we put all three of these guys together, right? We got uh, William, Mickey, and Ben C get the Houdini Award because they disappeared from this week's episode. Where'd you guys go? Yeah, they'll be back. I'm sure they'll be back. All right, Ryan, Ryan P. Ryan, Ryan. P. He gets the Whoa Take Two Steps Back Award. He was getting uh -huh. a little bit too pushy and creepy. Um, I hate to say that about anybody, but it almost seems like he watches the show too much in the past, and um, yeah. and he was just crossing some lines. I Hope, hope I'm wrong and don't want to hurt his feelings, of course, but you need to take two steps back, buddy. All right, so on to Nick. Nick, Nick gets the uh, the most likely to kick my butt in a push-up contest award. I mean, although I was I was doing push-ups with Tenley on my back before we started this, I did like 20 with one arm. Because I'm like a feather. That's right, that's right. <laughs> but anyway, Nick, I had to do the guy's a muscle-bound maniac. Yes, uh, Mr. West. West. West gets the, uh, West went south, so we'll give him the change of direction award. I liked him. Bummer yeah. to see him go. I'm sure he'll end up all right. Seems like he's got to get head on his shoulders. That's your bed? Possibly. All right. Yeah. We don't know anything, but. So a rose. You got a rose to give. Who do you give to? My rose goes to not JP this time. I'm oh. changing it up. All right. Ben F gets my rose. We saw some great compatibility yeah. and uh, between, that's our, our word for the night. Uh, yeah. Look it up if you don't know what it means. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it does it. <laughs> anyway, I think we have it. <laughs> it was really so, unforced. I like I yes. like that choice. Uh, Ben's conversations with Ashley are really unforced. They're just genuine. He didn't like try and do anything other than just 
just kind of keep it real and, and paint an elephant. Good move. Yeah, it was really, really sweet. And they even went in for a kiss. Actually, Ben went in for that kiss. And it was really cute and sweet. And... Ruh -roh. Yeah, was that the ruh -roh? That, was him, yeah. that was funny. So he seems like a good guy, a good sense of humor. And um, now I've got my eye on JP and Ben. Mm. Yes. There it is. <laughs> uh, on wetpaint.com, you can also go to facebook.com, the Bastard Fan site. And we will see you next week. Thank you.